And now, Public Access Television Channel 53 presents Men on Vacation. From a male point of view, <laughs> here we are on our last stop on our whirlwind gallivant through Europa. Wait a minute, we got a new sponsor. Somebody better check in there. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by Jules. The gum that explodes in your mouth. I bet you just can't chew one. <laughs> and who want to? We started our little trip in Greece. The Greek peoples were so nice. Yes, they bent over backwards to show us a good time. Oh, look. Excuse me. Oh, not you, fish. You go back in the seat. And for Monsieur? Oui, oui. <laughs> Bottoms up. Ditto. Is that little Ricky Schroeder? What's he doing here? Don't let him see me. Who's that with him? You know, I think that's Erica Strata. Oh, well, anyway. Next, we went to Holland, land of dykes. Hey, Nick. And from there, it was on to merry old England. Remember Big Ben? Oh, how could I forget it? It was so nice of him to show us around the city. Excuse me, Big Ben was a clock. Well, we both know what time that was. <laughs> It's so chilly out here, my nipples are hard. <laughs> then it was just a hop, skip, and a jump on to Gay Perry. But we decided to go back to Greece instead. And then it was on to Scotland. You know, I found it to be quite an open society where men are free to explore their feminine side of their nature. All those hairy legs and skirts holding them bagpipes. Mm -hmm. Not since the Fire Island Halloween barn dance have I seen so many men in drag. Just a hint, fellas, platters out this fall. Our next stop was Sweden. Best known for its beautiful buxom blondes. Hated it. <laughs> so we went back to Greece. <laughs> but it was very sad when we had to leave our soldier buddies behind mm -hmm. and travel to our final destination, <laughs> the French Riviera, which is where we've been ever since. Oh, yes, and to sum up our little European vacation, we're going to have to give the whole trip a new and improved around the world and back snack. <laughs> Tell a friend. <laughs> Tune in next week when we'll be back in the good old U.S. of A reviewing the new release, Memphis Belle. It's the story of ten young men in leather jackets, all sweaty, standing next to each other, and them long, hard bombs crammed together in a little old cockpit. Well, grease my landing gear. I'm coming in for a landing. <laughs> <laughs> 